This is uh, James Maloney here, the meat machinery editor with the Irish Farmers Journal. I'm here with James Bryan, uh, a contractor, maize guru. Uh, is it, what's your address, uh, James, exactly here? Is it in um, uh, Kilbritton? Yeah. James, this is an unusual setup. We don't see too many of these operations uh, harvesting maize. No. Um, this is your own machine, uh, a Kemper, is it? Kemper, yeah. And, uh, Kemper 3000 and you have it for 8 years yeah and James this is the new addition to it this year is the reverse drive on the on the Valtra that's right yeah and can you tell us a little bit about that set up James or why you decided to go for it yeah it's a more cost effective system and you're only using the harvester for 6 weeks of the year so so don't mind having a big self propelled machine sitting in the shed all year round and it's true, James. You, you, have one, you can have this tractor then for slurry or for mowing or whatever yeah, work yeah, you want. Three tri triple mowers going at it now in the summer for uh, bailing silage. And that'll suit with the reverse drive as well, James. Yeah. And uh, did, did it take much getting used to it for a reverse drive tractor? Or was it very simple? Uh, just turn just, the seat just, and go? Just the one day. And after 10 or 12 hours, it's no matter what. And. Uh, James, how many acres of maize roughly are you getting out of it with the day on, on well, with this setup now? If I have trainers to keep me going comfortably, I do 20 acres a day. 20 acres a day, yeah. respectable enough now. Yeah. Uh, for low input, like low. Exactly, yeah. And most of the maize, James, it, it's, your own, it's for your own use, is it? That's right, yeah. We are, we're bailing the maize. And that's why this harvester suits the baler because they run at the same. It's not coming in too fast for the baler in the air. They're, so. they're both similar outputs yeah, so for exactly. the day's work. Yeah. yeah. And uh, how did you decide to set up this business, James? If you like, it's yourself and the brother involved in it. Or? Yeah. I suppose the baling part of it. We um, came across it there about eight, nine years ago. And just thought it was a very convenient way of selling it. And um, we, uh, we used to get a self to hire a affiliate to call it. But we decided to go down the wrong road then after a year or two and do everything ourselves. And with a relatively low kind of investment in it too. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And you have your own help as well, James. Which our own help that makes a huge difference to it. Does it was, yeah. Uh, James, the Valtra here that we have is a T191, if I'm not mistaken, is That's it? That's right, yeah. And have you, would, have you done anything to push the power up on her? Or? No, she's, uh, I think it's 210 horsepower, standard. But I haven't, I didn't need to go at it. Yeah. I used to have it on a, one, a Deutz 165-7, putting out 200 horsepower, but I didn't have a reverse drive, so... I say you don't know yourself, no. James, to be honest with you. And in terms of um, say what the cost what the setup cost uh, would be on this uh, harvester, what did this harvester cost you way back eight years ago? Um, I got the harvester very reasonable, yeah. yeah. There was a guy in England he sold out and he went over to Canada farming and he just wanted to sell off all his gear and I just happened to come across it. Um, I think just four and a half thousand sterling a year for the harvest at that time. Jesus, it's well paid for James. It was paid for the first, first season. Yeah. A shrewd business decision. Yeah. <laughs> it worked out well. <laughs> and the other thing James is what I'm noticing because we, we did a feature on you in the Goldfile Baylor. Uh, you, you don't mind travelling for your machines? No, no. You have to travel. You have to travel to get the, the better stuff. And and you're good at keeping them going yourself, obviously. You're not worried yeah, about backup or... You we do your all own. our own mechanics. And parts are easy to get. A lot of the parts and the Kemper head are the same as the big forage harvesters, anyway. Very good, James. James, we'll leave it at that there, and thanks a million. No matter, thank you.